Anyway, speaking of seagulls, what an appropriate top you've got on today, Mark. Look oh, at I that. know, yeah, no relation. I can't wait to see what you're wearing tomorrow. <laughs> uh, so it's our 500th birthday. We're not making a cake, you're making a fish stew. No, I thought it was all cliche, so I'd, I'm going to go with something completely different. Well, actually, I kind of like this because it's a bit cold around the country. You know? Well, that's it, yeah. So this it's is more nice appropriate. Warming. Yeah, nice. Why not? Okay, so what, what, what are we actually doing? Right, well, we've got a fish stew, so you don't always have to put meat in stew. So okay. this is going to be a fish one, so it's classical sort of French... Uh, provincial French, so we've got nice herbs in there, nice. fennel and onions to make the base of the uh, uh, stew. We've got tomatoes in there and just some nice fish, what you get from the market. So you can use pretty much any fish you want and we're just going to poach it in at the last minute. It's going to be beautiful. Thus we are here in the Beko Kitchen, 499 recipes today. It's our 500th and we're going <laughs> stew. Uh, but that's all right. <laughs> I like this fish stew. It's a good hearty meal to have on a day you're like selling today. It, you're selling yep, it. Yep, right. no, perfect. Um, happy 500th, by the way. 500 Thank recipes, you. that's a lot oh, of I know, work. I know, I know. It's a Oh, work. My goodness. Which one's you been your favourite recipe? Anything with chicken in it. <laughs> and bacon. Um, yeah, and bacon, yeah. No, but today, fish stew, uh, what, where is this originating from? So this is sort of a French, French. recipe. Yeah, okay. yeah, sort of, sort of just really simple, and it's really quick as well, you know? So Good. you can go uh, from well to go, about half an hour, you can have like a really hearty um, stew. All right, it's not meat, it's fish, but, you know, Nothing wrong with that. Nice work. Okay, and It's really good, right? So, we've got, uh, one. Got a, yeah, nice big uh, pot on there. Yep. Bit of oil in there, and we're going to sweat down the onions. So, okay. we just uh, slice them uh, on the on the slice. So, this is going to give us texture. Nice. So, you'll be very, speaking of fish, you'll be very impressed. Last night in your cookbook, I pulled it off the shelf and I made the blue cod with the oh. pea puree. Oh, it was very <laughs> yummy. Very smart. Yeah. And was it good? It was beautiful. Fantastic. So that was good. So yeah, there's the book there. Honestly, some days you're sitting at home thinking, what am I going to cook? Just pull open Mark's cookbook. There you go. There's your birthday uh, present. Your 500th birthday <laughs> present. A free plug. <laughs> okay. Send me a picture. I should have actually, yes. Right, okay, a, little so bit, a little bit of garlic goes in there yep. now. Salt and pepper. Right, so you can sort of see it now. You want, a, you want a little bit of oil, you want some oil in here, so just to start getting those flavours going. So if okay, it gets cool. a little bit dry, you can put another little splash okay, on there, that's cool. all right. Yep. Um, and then what we're going to do is going to put a little bit of uh, thyme in there as well. So just a few sprigs of thyme, and then I'm just going to chop it up, and that's just going to get us some flavour, just building all those layers of flavour in there. And, you know, this stage you want to sort of cook them for, you know, a good five minutes on a low heat, Try not to get too much colour on there. We're just sort of, we want to sweat them, bring out all that sweetness oh, of the onion smelling. and garlic Good. and Put the thyme now. In. Yeah. Right, and Beautiful. then fennel. So fennel's going to be an important part in the stew. So the great thing about fennel, you can use, um, you know, you can use it to flavour your stew and uh, it's a vegetable so you get nice texture as well. But if you take all these like little um, herby parts off the top, yep. it tastes like dill. So we're going to actually take them off and we'll chop it and we'll th uh, put it through our stew at the last minute. Brilliant. Oh, this right, so we'll so keep good. all that. Okay, I think the onions are just about done. Just All right, moving them around. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to take just like any outer sort of layers off, which are a bit sort of dry in there, yep. a bit sort of dirty. And then I'm just going to cut it in half, and I'm going to finely slice this as well. And then that's going to go in, and that's going to cook down with the onions and garlic. Okay. And you want to cook this for probably about another sort of five, six, seven minutes, just until it's nice and soft. And then that's just going to sort of stew down, but you're going to get this beautiful sort of aniseedy flavour. You're not getting any colour on those onions, are you? No. <laughs> no, they're looking good. No, beautiful. Yeah, right, nice. so fennel goes in now. And, you know, what you can Ooh, what do... smell, that's fantastic. Yeah, and, it, and it's really good. It gives, you know, great texture, but really good. It really, it goes really, really well with fish as well, um, fennel, because of that oh. aniseedy flavour. Okay, that's great. All right, so I'm going to get that in as well. And then... Right, so this stage now, low heat, yep. pop a lid on it, right, and that's just going to help sort of um, sweat and slowly stew and soften that fennel and get all those flavours out. So we'll give that another five minutes and then we'll come back and uh, add the rest of the ingredients. Brilliant, okay, if you want the recipe you can go to the cafe.co.nz. We'll get the next steps to make this fish stew very soon. It's our 500th recipe here on the show and I guess fish is the key ingredient, isn't it? But and it's tomatoes. This, and tomatoes and the smell from this, this is looking really good. So that's fennel, onion, garlic, garlic. A little bit of thyme as well. So you can see the fennel mm. starting to go translucent now. Okay. That's right, so now we're going to add all the uh, stocks in there. So I've just got like a little pinch of sugar. Okay. going to help with the sweetness of the uh, tomatoes. I've got some um, white wine. Oh, yep. So that'll help lift all the uh, 
flavours off the bottom of the pan. Yeah, exactly. Right. And that's really going to build the flavours, and that will give us a nice bit of acidity as well. Okay. For the soup. And then I've got fish stock. All right, it is a fish stew, so you can use fish stock. You know, if you don't want it too fishy, you could use a vegetable stock or even a chicken stock. It's quite nice. Okay, great. It's up to you. Mm, right, so yum. we're going to bring all that to the boil, and then yep. have just some a uh, couple of cans of tomatoes. Okay. That goes in. Right, and then give that another good season. Give it a little taste. We'll bring it up to the boil and we'll turn it down and we'll just simmer it for about 20 minutes. Just let all those flavours develop. And then all we need to do, we've got our fish here. So beautiful uh, white fish here. So this is a little bit of snapper. Um, so take the skin off it because we're just going to, what we want to do is just lightly poach it. Always double check there's no bones in there. Okay. And then what we want to do is just, you know, nice pieces like that. Okay, so nice... Um, chunky pieces yes and this has got to go in at the very end of the stew you know if you're using a flat fish like snapper or teriyaki you know it's not going to take long to cook especially it's that sort of um thickness as well and how long are we going to cook it for oh, probably about three, 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 about five? three, three minutes or so okay. you know you just want to so you want to have your stew all ready to go the right consistency the right seasoning and just drop it in last minute and then we'll chop some parsley a little bit of those dill tops um tops as well which you just chop just to finish it off and a little bit of grated um lemon in there as well mm, yeah and then all you want to do to serve it on the side or serve on the side some nice crispy bread and we're just going to um toast that in the griddle pan oh. and that's it and that is that is all you need and that you know that is how fast no i like that hearty stew you know i mean it's, it's nice and hearty it's it is nice like stews are nice oh, with like yeah. meat but you know you, you do need like two three hours um cooking time that's right the, that's so you problem. use fish you're cutting down your cooking time so much Ready to go, nice and hearty, and the smells coming from this are incredible. So by the time we serve this up towards the end of the show, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. That's going to be great, and we'll just, uh, you know, just have a look. So it's just coming up to the bottom. Right. We've got that beautiful texture in there as well. All the fennel is going to be nice and soft, you know, and it's going to taste a lot more than just canned tomatoes. Right. If you know what I mean. <laughs> well, hopefully, anyway. <laughs> I'll no, season we'll it up for you as well. So hopefully, we'll. I'll give it a try during the end of the show, just to make sure we're on the right level. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's gonna be great. Something a little bit different, try it at home. Nice work, thank you so much, Mark. There you go. 500 recipes down, make this one at home. And of course, you can find the recipe on our website if you'd like to give it a go at home. Okay, now it's fish stew time. Mark, how's it looking? Look at this, absolutely oh. fantastic. Oh. Woo, woo. A hearty stew. Happy 500 recipe, mate. Yeah.